Here we have a 6 and 9 plate Mercedes Benz A220 AMG line Premium Plus. Now, this vehicle comes with the 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all in excellent condition and unmarked. We do also have the digital white exterior paintwork. We have the LED headlights, the Pan America front grille with the black Mercedes badge in the center. We also have the front splitter with the canards as well. Coming around to the passenger side, you'll find the second alloy wheel again unmarked just down there. We do also have colour coded door handles and door mirrors. Got the brush metal trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. We also have the panoramic glass sunroof up top. It's currently open, can also get put onto a tilt. We have the A35 style rear spoiler which sits nice and aggressively. We also have the front and rear parking sensors with a visual display and a reversing camera as well. Around to the rear you find the quad tip exhaust with the A45 style rear diffuser and there's a look at that rear end. Coming around to the passenger side, back around to the driver's side sorry, you can see the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. If you take a look at the interior, inside of the back you'll find the half leather interior, got the red stitching, we do also have the foldable armrests in the centre and the fixed ISO points as well back here. Electric windows on the doors, same half leather interior at the front with both front seats being heated. They're also electrically adjustable, the memory functions controlled just there on the doors. Got the electric mirrors and electric windows with a char lock for the rear. Automatic lights just down here and a multifunctional steering wheel as well. Just take a seat inside, you'll find the digital dashboard in front of us with a nice little animation as we get it in. Put a foot on the brake, press the start button, the vehicle will turn on for us. Let's turn the volume down using the steering wheel. Got the paddle shifters either side, cruise control speed to here on the right. We are free from any warning lights on the digital dashboard and we have many features and displays which you can go through, press on to the home. You can see we have all these different options which you can scroll through. Quickly just change the style, currently on sport, go over to classic, you can see it changes the look just like so. We've got the main screen here in the centre, many features on here you would have seen on the photos. Got the touchpad just here with the different shortcuts, so if you click onto radio, you find the radio stations. We also have the media options on the Bluetooth phone connectivity for making phone calls. If you go onto the main menu, we can scroll through all the other features. So if you go onto comfort, you find the ambient lighting, many colours to go through, and also the seat comfort with the seat kinetics. You see the ambient lighting inside of the vents also runs across here and across the doors. Looks really nice, especially at night time. Going back onto the main menu, we can scroll through again. Over to the apps, you find the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Further down, You'll find we have the climate control with the eyes called air conditioning, gloss black trim as well in the center. We do have the different drive modes, so just press onto here. You find the eco, comfort, sport, and also the individual drive mode, which you can set up yourself. Let's leave it in comfort for now. If you put the car into reverse, you find the reversing camera with the parking sensors on the right hand side. We have the wide angle and then also the parking assist. Put it back into park. We then have inside of here some storage space we've got the cup holders we also have the wireless phone charging type c usb, USB port and a 12 volt connectivity as well we also have the leather armrest in the center which can be opened up for more storage that's all i'm going to show you guys today though if you'd like to find out more please check out the website thank you for watching video test drive of this mercedes-benz a220 amg line premium plus now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle what drives as expected to. As you can see, I'm now to fire the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, and I'll burn off to the left or to the right hand side which stays straight and true. Now we do also have the multifunctional steering wheel which has the paddle shifters either side. So if you want to take the car into manual mode, tap by the paddles and it will change gear. We also have the volume buttons here on the left hand side, the speed meter and the cruise control on the right. Digital dashboard in front of us which can show with different displays and different features that you've seen on the photos and also the walk around video. If you do listen carefully as well throughout the video test drive you'll also notice we'll be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. Now we do also have the half leather interior throughout the vehicle, really comfortable seats and you can easily do two, three or even 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both front seats are also heated which is perfect for them cold winter mornings and they're also electrically adjustable with the memory functions controlled here on the doors, gain it adds to that comfort level. 
Now we do have many more features on the interior of this vehicle. For example, we've got the panoramic glass sunroof just up there, which looks really nice, especially on a summer's day with the blue sky. We also have the ambient lighting, which looks really nice, especially at night time. Many colours which you can go through on there. We do also have the main screen here in the centre. It's currently showing the radio stations, but if we just press this button here, you can see it quickly changes to the sat nav. Many features on there you would have seen on the photos. We also have the gloss black trim in the centre, we've got the wireless phone charging as well, really nice features to have. Of course we do have the automatic gearbox as well, which has all the different drive modes. And in a moment we are about to take a right hand turn onto the industrial park where I will perform an emergency stop and put the car into reverse, just to show the brakes and reversing camera work as it should do. So we've got the right indicator on, slowing down, and we're about to make a right hand turn onto the industrial park. And I will perform an emergency stop now in three, two and one hard into the brakes put the car into reverse reverse camera appears on the screen back into a drive with no issues whatsoever and if this video hasn't answered all your questions then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with running through some inquiries with you that's all for me today though cheers